Hey everyone, welcome to Car Review. Today we're going to do a no spoilers review of Captain Marvel, so let's get right into it. So, Captain Marvel is the newest movie by Marvel. And uh, I'll just start off by saying, first and foremost, I really like this movie. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I loved it. I think it's great. Um, you know, Captain Marvel is honestly one of those Marvel movies where I just, I wasn't really looking forward to it. Um, you know, not, not in the sense for how I was for like Infinity War or Black Panther. This was one that was coming down the pipe where I was like, yeah, you know, I'll see it. Yeah, I'm excited, but I wasn't like amped up. It wasn't like I got to be there opening night or I'm not going at all. You know, like I was just, yeah, it's the next, it's the next chapter. Let's go. But uh, no, I should have been hyped because this movie totally, totally exceeded my expectations. Um, I mean, it's great acting, great action. Um, and the story itself is told really well from a writing and a pacing perspective. It's, it's really well made. Um, and also the effects are really good too. Um, and I'd say that they're some of the best that Marvel has done in recent years. And that was a really nice surprise for me as well because you look at a movie like Doctor Strange, well, with Doctor Strange, you kind of are expecting a certain level of of uh, visual flair and aesthetic and stuff. And, you know, with Captain Marvel, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know how how beautiful or, or not this movie was going to look, if they were going to, if they were going to, you know, go all out with the cosmic stuff. And they totally did. And I, I thought it was great. I thought it served the movie well and what they were trying to do. Um, and it, it was really nice to see all the little details and colors really pop on the screen. Um, and I thought the characters were great too. You know, Captain Marvel, I know nothing about her other than the fact that she's like, just insanely powerful and her name is Captain Marvel. I, you know, I, I, I knew nothing about her, but I instantly fell in love with the character. I want to see more of her. And I really think this was a great solo outing for her. Um, I thought keeping her when, when I, I'll, I'll explain this after I say it, but I thought keeping her disconnected from the larger MCU was good. Now, obviously, I know she is a key and important fact in the MCU. She's going to feature heavily in Endgame, and she was teased in Infinity, in Infinity War. But, you know, with most Marvel movies nowadays, you always have secondary characters from who we've met before, or a cameo, or it's always chock full of references. And there are references... But it's not, it's, it doesn't beat over the head, you know, Captain America, you know, Hawkeye, they, you know, they don't, they don't, uh, you know, pop in, you know, for like the third act and they're not, you know, they're not there to help her save the day, you know, it's, it's, it is, it's her story and they reference the large universe, but it is, it is her, you know, the whole way through, which I think is really great. And that was the one issue I had with Ant-Man, the first Ant-Man movie was, well, it was a great scene. When the Falcon popped in for those brief few moments with Ant-Man and they had their little scuffle, um, you know, it was, again, a great scene, but it felt a little forced. It felt like, you know, Disney and Marvel were pointing, saying, hey, look, you're part of a larger world. Don't forget that. Whereas Captain Marvel, it is it is just simply in in references. And uh, it's it, it works really great. Um, also, comedy in this movie is really well pace as well um you know another knock i've had on previous marvel movies was the fact that i feel that they've gotten too comedic um you know i don't want a a superhero comedy i just i want a superhero action movie drama whatever you call it with some underlying comedy and captain marvel certainly goes back to those to that template of how of how you should do comedy whereas before i'm going to reference ant-man again i like the ant-man movies i do but in Ant-Man and the Wasp, or Ant-Man 2, um, there, the biggest issue I had was that I thought that there was way too much comedy. I thought that the movie really beat you over the head. I thought it was more of a comedic movie than anything else. Um, it was, there was honestly so much comedy, I got put off in the movie. Um, it's, it's one of my least favorite Marvel movies for that fact, but um, Marvel totally course corrected with, uh, with Captain Marvel. I. You know, they, they kind of step back on the comedy in Infinity War as well. There were a few moments, a few prolonged moments in Infinity War where I was like, okay, we get it, this is supposed to be funny. And it is, but you're going a little long now. But Captain Marvel does that great as well. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's a really well-structured movie and a really well-structured Marvel movie. 
Um, and I also like the story as well, like I said. Um, you know, you're going back in time and while technically Cap or yeah, technically Captain America takes place first because that was set in World War II. This is like, you know, before the Avengers Initiative, before, you know, Iron Man won, you know, before Thor won, you know, I, I think I don't know when Thor takes place. Um, you know, stuff like that. And uh, and it was great seeing, you know, like Shield Year One, you know, Nick Fury looks a lot younger. He's got his, he's got both eyes, you know. Seeing Agent Coulson again is, is really awesome, you know. And it, it was, it was really cool to see that that visual aesthetic as well, where they're driving older cars and there's muted colors, and you know, they're referencing older bands and, and restaurants and, and stores and stuff like Blockbuster, like you've seen in the trailers. It's all just really cool. It had a really great uh, um, establishing, you know couple of sequences where they're like oh yeah you're in this time period like you know the blockbuster scene in particular that we see in the trailers that it, it's really cool when everything starts to go into that time period it's it's pretty awesome um i will say though for for uh, all my praises that there you know this is not the perfect movie isn't marvel's best movie no is it my favorite one no um it did exceed my expectations but where i thought it, it drooped for me was I thought it left a lot on the table in terms of of storytelling. Now I've said before in this video I think the story they told was told in a great way. I think that they they told this story of Captain Marvel uh, very well. However, I I thought it could have gone differently. I thought it it should have gone differently. Now I'm not knocking on the movie. It's not in the sense that like. Oh, they didn't do what I thought they do. Well, therefore, it's bad. No, that's not. That's not what's supposed to. Uh, that's not how I'm supposed to look at movies. That's not how you're supposed to look at movies. A film is a film. It's subjective. I'm. I'm just saying that while they didn't do what I thought they were going to do, I thought, you know, I thought that what they did do was fine, especially with the. Uh, I'm not again. No spoilers. But with, with the scrolls, you know, everybody's thinking like, oh, you know, are the scrolls going to be an, an end game? Like, cause you know, they're shapeshifters and stuff. Like. You know, and the scrolls are cool, and they serve a great, you know, um, line throughout the movie. I just I wanted I wanted more from certain avenues the scrolls could have gone in. I wanted certain avenues um, for the Kree, which I, which is like what Captain Marvel is. She's like of that race of superhero. I wanted more exploration on on them as well. You know, I just I wanted to see more of certain things in the movie. And sadly, for me, there really, there wasn't. I mean, I'm gonna be seeing the movie actually very soon, again. Um, I plan to do a couple repeat viewings, and this is a movie that deserves repeat viewings. So hopefully I'll pick up on things I missed. Maybe there is stuff in there that just totally explains stuff that like, you know, is connecting tissue for all this stuff. Um, but you know, there were just, there, there were some great setups that I know will be explored in Endgame and in Captain Marvel 2. But, you know, for the first film, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, leave, leave pieces out so that way you can, you know, make a bigger picture in the end. I, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't, like, overtly set up a sequel. It doesn't hit you over the head with, like, you know, come back next time. But, but again, they, they left the trail of breadcrumbs. I just happen to think that the trail of breadcrumbs is a little too long, if that makes any sense. Trying to, I'm trying to explain this to you guys without, you know, going into spoilers because, again, this is a no spoiler review. But no, I think Captain Marvel was awesome and exceeded my expectations. Um, visually, it's great. Acting, it's great. Um, you know, has um, good uh, um, action sequences, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and I, I had a really good time. This movie is incredibly entertaining, and I think uh, you should definitely go see it. Um, and you should see it multiple times. You know, take the family, have fun. And uh, yeah, this only gets me more excited for Endgame. So knowing that Endgame is right around the corner, like literally like a month from like when Captain Marvel released, like it's like a month and like a half. Um, but no, it's this is a great, um, this is a great setup chapter to Endgame, and it's it's I, that movie's just gonna be killer. So yeah, Captain Marvel did a lot right. I just I just I wanted a little more from certain areas. So that is my no spoilers review of Captain Marvel. If you like this video, comment, share, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, definitely see Captain Marvel. And I will see you in the next video. All right.